Hello, everyone. Hello to all viewers. Welcome to our second episode of Wisdom Within. We're live here from Universitas Advent Indonesia, and it is one of Christian private universities in Indonesia. And if you're interested in knowing more about our university, we provide the university episode of our show a more solid few viewers because your support means a lot to us okay and if you're new to our channel let me give you a bit of information In a boat. But why would will share their life philosophy and also their authentic experience? There is wisdom within. So that's what, what our program. Okay, uh, I think let's just start this show and I will Okay, is everyone here in the guest speaker from UK is not, not here? But it's okay, the time must go on. I'm going to introduce all, let me introduce them. Them one by uh, we have here Natasha. Hi, Natasha. Uh, uh, Natasha is a sophomore and she used to be a leader of it's a place that is close to this university. We also have. Intan Angelia. Hi, Intan. Okay. She's also a sophomore, currently lives in Medan, North Sumatra. She's an active youth leader, also. She's also active in one of youth minimum she lives in the same city as okay active in youth organization called prayer circle i'm so honored to have you young people of wisdom within we still have our guest speaker here i think he's still uh, on his way, on his way to join, going to introduce him once he's in, once he's inside. Okay. Now, uh, in this episode, we present a tart with some. Sometimes experience being helpless feeling empty thoughts which lead us to be in despair for such a long time nevertheless we tend we actually have the ability to be strong in the midst of our struggles and here we are our speakers they're going to meet of our problems and how to get strong and how to be to face the problems that we have. And here, our first speaker is Natasha. She's going to give us the background 
about why we tend to forget or why we tend to lose our power when we're helpless. Natasha, I think the time is yours. Could you please share your story, share your experience with us? Thank you. I'm Deborah. I'm very honored to be able to speak today. So out to the helpless hearts. And the part that I'm going to discuss is why no one listens. But before that, let me share the screen. Okay, why no one listens? When a person feels like nobody ever understands them, it's probably the worst feeling someone could ever experience. And we felt like nobody cares or nobody ever understands us. Well, that is normal, that is okay. Also, when, when we have problems, especially serious ones, we often experience a lot of different emotions from it. And our minds are racing with so many different angles pertaining to the cancer of those outcomes. Now, talking about different emotions or mixed feelings, what kind of feelings that people have uh, when they feel like nobody ever understands them? Well, first, of course, lonely. When we feel that is really paying attention to us, then, of course, we will feel lonely. We will feel like we're all alone, like we have nobody. And sometimes we get angry when we're sad. Uh, blaming others, even blaming ourselves for all the things that happen to us, and especially the bad things. And next is disappointed. So this feeling is one of the most common feelings we all had experienced. Um, basically, disappointment is the feeling of dissatisfaction that our hope to manifest. It is very easy for us as humans to feel disappointed because we often have a very high expectation. And if things didn't go our way, then we feel disappointed over it. Now, when a person feel lonely, they are more likely to have helpless heart because imagine if we ever have a problem that we cannot solve it by ourselves and there is no one there to help us, then of course we will feel helpless. We feel like there is nothing we can do to help ourselves. There is no one there to accompany us whenever things get rough. And also lonely individuals tend to have a pessimistic outlook. They are more negative than the individuals who are not lonely about the people, events, and circumstances in their lives. And they tend to blame themselves for not being able to achieve satisfactory social relationships. Also others and trust issues. try to find someone to talk to since we're social beings. Well, it could be a friend, a family, or just relatives. But sometimes when we tell people about what was going on about our struggle, and when I got into the university and start my freshman year, I was a little bit shocked. I was a little bit nervous because um, the learning, and since I'm new, and I don't really have friends at the time, and I found it hard for me to adapt with this whole new and tell her about my concerns. And I remember I told her how, how long and exhausting I out her response wasn't something I expected. Then of course I started, is she even listening? 
kind of reactions towards all of my stories before. And then I realized that she was actually meeting a new friend and get along very well. anymore so after feeling down for a couple months I decided to accept everything that happened fine that I'm going to meet new friends and start a new journey ahead I will be okay soon but until that time arrives I make sure that I'm able to walk by myself and to remember that my relationship with myself matters more than the relationship with anybody else. So basically, that are the thoughts of people who feel very, very painful for some people, you know? They type people need need to be listened. When we think someone listens, we believe feelings are acknowledged empathy, which is an understanding of what we are trying to say and showing it builds a bond linking us to someone who seems to understand and care. Thus, because are recognizable and listening is so basic that We often take it for granted. Unfortunately, most of us think pay attention, take an interest, care about, and appreciate one another. It is especially hurtful not to be listened to in door and the need to be heard. I think that is why people need to be listened and good listeners so the communication can work uh, better. The listener, of course, if the content anymore. So now, um, to close my discussion, I would like to share a quote as a daily reminder for all of us. Um, the quote says, to be kind is more important than to be right. Many times what people need is not a brilliant mind that speaks, but simple than to be right. Many times what people need is not a brilliant mind that speaks, Sounds so but organic. simply a special Traveling heart that problems, We can sense. hardly find strength. Thank you. And I really like your statement when you say relationship to ourselves matters the most. So it means in order for us not to feel lonely. So thank you so much for sharing that with us. But now I think we should come up with the ultimate thought. Yeah. Uh, to some, you know, to some, some they can they can get strong when they are facing problems. It's really hard for them to gain strength, yeah, to gain their strengths. And now, in time, our next speaker is going to share with us the ultimate thought: how to find strength in a broken place. In time, the time is yours. Well, good day. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today. I'm honored to be here and I'm gonna to tell you about 
find strings in a broken place. Thus, when you have never listened to anyone, never appreciated, it, no one, no one understands. We will feel lonely and heartbroken, right? Therefore, have any of us ever felt lonely? Yes, of course I am. Loneliness, will that be possible? The reason why people can feel lonely because they feel no one understands. And as Tasha has said before, all right. When we feel alone, can I get our strength? Can I go? Can I get out strength in our display room? We feel we feel heartbroken. Behind our behind our grips, there must be. human is endowed with reason. Human can think. Human thinking skills are also used to able to create tasks, update, improve, def develop, and improve something that exists for the benefit of human life. All other creatures has the ability to think of human as a natural nature possessed. Thinking is an operational act of reason that encourages to actively do for the benefit and improvement of human life. So, the function of reason to begin with out. Hope, you know that one? Hope is an optimistic state. Hope is optimistic state of mind that is based on expectation of positive outcomes with respect of the future and events of optimism. Hope creates future situations. Such mental love travel influences your state of mind and alters your behavior in the present. And this slide, the positive feelings you experience as you like hate imagining of hopefully what might happen what you will attain or who you are going to be can other have and this can have behavior consequences through a tough time in their life step As a bitterness, difficulties, and would you would that? What's wrong with me? First of all, you have to do is realize, believe that what you are experiencing is not is one of my favorite person. When you have difficult time and very complicated problems during his life, from he was small until and however, the word of education that he got exam, exam twice when he goes to high school. Um, he can fail the the exam even three times. Not only that, he was rejected by two universities, you know, before finally landing and at Hong Chun Normal University. After graduation, only a local university will have US dollars per month. A number of well-known companies were proposed, but no, no one was accepted. Jack Ma recalled, mm, when K when K started stores in China, there and only 23 of them were
exempted. And you know, Jekma said, no surrender in his dictionary. While trying to get a job worthy of a stalemate, Jigma tries to create his own luck. Instead of continuing to learn, Jigma believes the hope he was is a way out from him. He built a large company called Alibaba in 1998 which is the system is able to, to facilitate in international buying and selling transactions that can be done in on Alibaba. Many adopted his idea, even they, even they thought it was the 100 million people who used it. Behind his grade, your, your, or get up and live with it. Most importantly, forgive your The missing will be finding your own path in life is a real challenge. The we that get how how we might make our mark and all in the world. You may not be. Step on step one in my find is to in my mind is to exercise some self awareness. This step could be described with the phrase "no" and "interesting enough." Some research out, some research out there that suggests the near op opposite of the of the above. So oh, ask a solid window into our personality. And of things and weakness, find clues in your themes. We all get older. The hope is that we also become more self-aware. Why? As we experience life in a one way you know in sorry we ought to there is the process of how much i have parents divorced from my childhood i learned how to be a mother since her friend after my friends betrayed me. In the fourth one, use a strange task. If at the end of this, you, you, still, you still find yourself questioning what, what your own sayings are, and you can look into strange task. Well, opening up to the family. Why? Because a family is not only a crowd of people staying together. Family give us, give us this, the, it's, it's uh, sorry, it gives us the courage to avoid the obstacles such as the problems also and save the triumph. <clears throat> it gives us the special 
uh, the spatial the spatial power which cannot be seen, but you know, we only can we can only be feel. I think. Well, that's all from my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Intan. Thank you so much. Thank you for being candid and open to us. Well, but thank you that finally you share with us that, that there is hope in a broken place. Uh, before we proceed to our next discussion, our next speaker, our guest speaker from England is finally here. here. Mr. Robin, are you here? Hi. Robin, your family. Um, well, I was abroad in in China for about. Uh, 10 years and studying and trying to discern truth and something useful my life, what I'm going to do today with this topic okay awesome okay Robin uh, a while ago Intan and Natasha they have shared their topics about how about feeling lonely and about how to find strengths you know uh, this may seem so cliche to us when people let's hard to control our mind composed without feeling anxious as about the lower and the higher mind about how to set our mind to be positive the time is yours robin Okay, thanks. Well, um, I'm definitely, and each of these have their purposes strengths and weaknesses. Most people have a thinking that they, that usually the lower mind, it usually, usually got us principally concerned with our immediate survival. And our, our success. Usually, usually got us principally concerned with our immediate survival success with greatly with focusing on and comparatively or as many spiritually minded people People call it the, the high consciousness. And, and this uh, 
um, and other considerate thoughts can begin to take shape. We can start thinking about others or survival mode, which is, you know, what I'm calling this kind of fixation on ourselves. Um, we can lower our guard and we're more able to be considerate with others um, than we are while, while we're stuck in the lower mind. Uh, you know, sometimes we see other people, they, they're acting a, a particular way, sometimes it's badly towards us, and we see them as evil or we see them uh, as our enemy, perhaps. But in in this higher state of mind, it's possible that we can rather see of, of, the, of the bad behavior, perhaps being, being you know, caused by some hurt or ignorance. And we can more, and there's, there's a famous doctor called Dr. David Hawkins, and he wrote the, you know, the differences between the minds. He said, the Lord desires things but the higher mind values them. The lower mind wants to be exclusive, the higher mind inclusive. The lower wants to control things, the higher seeks to see potential. The Lower is constrictive, and the higher is expansive and, and enhanced in their perspective, forcing them. The lower is insensitive, and the higher is great. It just wants things, but the higher can choose between them. It, in short, it, it, it seems to suggest Suggest that we have a lot more options in mind, and that seems like a good thing. Anyway, um, in religions, uh, many really probably heard of um, Buddhist enlightenment. And things like that. I mean, there's all kinds of you know, people are seeking different things for themselves, some kind of peace or, 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 or solidarity or oneness. And in Christianity, Christians are supposed to put self to the side and to seek the highest possible good, God's will. Um, Christ said, my kingdom is not of this world, which many have understood to mean that if Christians are to seek Christ's kingdom, then they, they will necessarily spend less time focusing on survival in this, this world and more time seeking eternal life for themselves and every moral uh, every moral problem completely the other way around while still allowing both of these types of thinking to kind of reach their potential now um, it sounds great to you know aim for that kind of ideal but not many people can actually achieve that and you know even partially it's it's not easy to achieve the, the different cares of our lives and things that we get wrapped up in day by day, uh, they can be very heavy and they can steal our focus and, and our, our hearts. And we can easily find ourselves getting into bad habits of thinking, crap, uh, bad habits is difficult to break. Um, it's, it's, it could be that we wake up on the wrong side of bed one day and because we started the day badly the rest of the day falls um used 
to guide our minds to the right places. Um, you know, something that we can do to any control to encourage our higher mind, uh, give it some space to, to, to be there. How do you do this? Do you get enough water, disease as much as possible, uh, bodily complaints? And, and for some people, some of these things are not possible to give their body the best chance of uh, that they could possibly have. And after that, you have taken care of your, your mental state. And there's different ways you can do that as well. And control what happens every day. Um, but or a commitment to their goals, something which brings their mind away from the direct um, facing of, of, of day and its challenges, and rather gets us thinking outside the box, um, a little bit more zoomed out. And, um yeah so after that well actually for us now i'm not sure if that's what daniel did but um that seems to be kind of perfectly spaced throughout the day um now his prayers we, we don't know what he said, but obviously people who, um, who, who want to take a similar approach could clearly put their, their calm moments and their meditative moments um, in three slots like that or something similar. And they could gain, you know, a lot of um, focus uh, from this, I think. Yeah, so if you start and end each day with the right focus and you know, in the middle of the day, you have this continuing um, train of thought, this, this continuing refocusing of your mind. Um, it, it, it would seem to be a good habit building exercise for creating these, um, th these chances for your higher mind to, to grow and, and to think. Um, sometimes this seems a little, a little impractical. Some days are a bit too hectic, too busy. Um, and, you know, we, we have to consider options like, do we want to change our jobs? Do, do we want to make our lives more easy uh, for ourselves? Uh, because sometimes it takes, you know, big decisions to, to really improve things. So there's that, then there's, um, you know, there's, there's, there's trying to fit your, your body and mind into this, into this space, which can help you. But then also there's removing negativity. There's, there's removing the, uh, the impulse and the encouragement and the temptation to do the wrong things, to think the wrong things. So while giving yourself time, space, and opportunities to spend in, in this higher state, I think sometimes being positive is not enough by itself. And we have to actually reject um, the negatives, reject the the lower mind when it tempts us. Um, and I think the, the ways to do that might, might possibly include um, spending less time with negative people or with people who are focused on, on lower mind and you know, the, the impulses of, of, of each day. And perhaps the way they speak is not very um, uh, positive or, or helpful to us. So maybe we should spend less time with them. Spend more time with people who do the opposite. Um, Maybe avoiding things which you know might impact you negatively could be anything, I suppose, from food and music and entertainment and 
gossip and everything you can think of, which might be a block to you, um, to gaining that, that time and that peace, which can lead your mind to that higher place. And rejecting our own thoughts as well, which encourages us to center on ourselves or perhaps to focus on ourselves in a kind of negative way, to be too selfish, to be too self. Uh, and finally, I thought, you know, inducing um, or inspiring the higher state of mind with prayer, wholesome conversations, you know, where you exercise, maybe some beautiful ourselves nouns videos and whatever else that makes you feel more relaxed it, we, that this figuring ourselves out you know what works for us and and how has does this really help us does it not help us and we we, we can go through our experiences piece by piece and and so as a basic conclusion, um, Jesus once said, for what shall it profit? And, and I think this makes it plain and simple. Uh, we have a choice to prize self survival world, less of this focus on self and uh, this this small time focus and more so in finding contentment and peace and wholeness of mind and body and even eternal life so it it, it seems to be uh, the first thought maybe <laughs> that we think every day or perhaps the last um, and where that thought leads to, uh, that seems to be our main choice. And um, <laughs> that's as much as I can go into it here. Anyway, thanks, guys. It's, it's, if you've got any questions. Yeah, um, we'll, go, we'll be there soon, Robin. So just stay in brief because we're going to have a discussion. Yeah? Okay. We're going to have a discussion session. So very interesting. I really, I really like the way you deliberate this, right? Uh, that we have to be in a higher state of our mind. You know what? I re remember when I was a kid. Uh, I real, I totally dislike when my dad woke me up early in the morning to have a devotion, not knowing actually a devotion is actually a way for us to practice practice to practice the higher mind so thank you for for sharing that with us we will be back robin a lot of questions about your topic about the lower and the higher mind thank you so thank much you. Um, okay all right so now after after controlling the mind we should be able to discover the purpose in life is going to share with us how to discover discover our purpose in life. Niagara, invite you in to please share with us. Hi. Okay, you may start. Okay. Uh, uh, about discovering purpose in life. So now I would like to tell about how to discover purpose in our life. But before that, let me share my screen. Have you seen my screen? Yes, yes. Sorry. Continue. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yes.
Yes, yes. Continue. Oh, I'm sorry. You. Discover purpose in our life. Strength. But sometimes uh, no one is cares for us. When we are when we have broken heart and we are we feel lonely, we have to so we have to know how how to have good purpose in the purpose of life is to find something important enough to justify suffering. So uh, when we have suffering in our life, when we tend to now we tend to know how to, to find something important to make up time. So as Richard Lader uh, said, he is a purpose expert, says that genuine purpose points to the end of a self-absorbed, self-serving relationship to a life. So uh, Richard said to know ourselves before we share uh, our gift to others. How we can help others, uh, we need help to give our strength to ourselves before we give strength to our family or our friends. So every experience in life it can help us to have purpose. Of course, we have uh, many of experience that can be happy experience or sad experience. But that's all can teach us how to more understand our our about our life. Pema Kodron says that. Nothing ever goes away until it teaches us what we need to know. So everything in our life, it is teaching us to more understand. So we need to learn more for them. So we have a good mind and we have a new learning to make our life be better. So, discovering purpose. Discovering purpose is not easy, but we can, uh, we can have discovering purpose. So, uh, we can discover our, the first is self-awareness. Self-awareness is thinking with heart, not head. So we have to know ourselves or um, we give help to others. And the second is take the pressure of the, this is mean that allows yourself to be the best. Sometimes we, we feel that I, can, I cannot do that. Uh, I don't able. To do everything, but please uh, change our minds that allows yourself to do what you can do. As the third, doing what you love to do. We have to do what if what is uh, the thing that we love to do. So, to discovering our purpose, us. 
How can? Hobby is something that we like to do every time, right? Uh, if we have the free time, we we will do our hobbies. Like me, my hobby is listening to music um, or hanging out with my friends, and I like to fishing too. So, uh, from my from those hobbies, I can know myself more. So, from our hobbies, we can know ourselves more. So, when we do our hobbies, uh, we can point ourselves, oh, my weakness is here and my strength is here. So, we can make a comparison in our life. So, when we know this is my weakness, we have to uh, put, take it away and do our best. How this can help to discover our purpose. Ask yourself, not the word. When we will have a purpose in life, even no one he is cares to us, uh, these questions can help us to be alive. The, uh, the first question is, if nobody paid me to do it. Some of us, uh, we, when we will do something, we tend to hope some, in this lesson, we have to remind this question. makes me come so uh, we have to think what thing that make me uh, not give up or what thing that make me alive and uh, the important for us and then we have to know how precious our life in in this life, there's so many fearness, but the greatest fearness is death. There is many factors can make someone be dead, such as accident, uh, the second is illness, and the third is unexpected death. We, we don't know why someone is dead, and what the problem. So accident, illness, and unexpected death and problem, this is some of the factors, but there is so many factors that make someone pass away. But we have to honor our life. We live in this world in a short time, but we, we have hope that uh, we will be live eternal when our God is come to this world and then our suffering, our problem, and our sadness in this life is will uh, be end. So, honor yourself, honor your life, do your best now, and never give up. This is, uh, I will read. A few years ago, my father was very sick in the hospital. I was so impressed by the nurses there and how they met such a display. And I decided that I wanted to have, so I went to nursing school and now I work as an RN in a local clinic. Randall has a motivation in his life, in his mind, 
from the problem. What is for family sick, we will uh, feel sad, and this is the problem. But how run does when he So the nurses and give the different way to help his father. He, he uh he is and now he work as an are in, in a local clinic. So this example can have heaven it in our life from all problem so that our mind will be changed and we can find our purpose from them. So, when our life has purpose, what will be the worst? Without purpose, we will be like an adult. You know a doll? So, it does for itself and, and we have to making we have to make purpose in life so that when we have purpose in our life our life will be more useful to others and be meaningful meaningful so uh, to be positive influence we have to give good influence to others to help them to solving their problem but we have to know ourselves before and when we know ourselves and we have strength in our self uh, then we will help uh, others to solve their problems. So, how to be positive in positive thinker? We have to we have we have to be a good so, so everything is like a presentation thank you thank you niagara uh, i think you pointed out about self worth like a teacher where awareness in your us. Process. so let learn more in your and we need to to all Honor ourselves. Thank you. That's a very interesting. Interesting topic you share here. Okay, I would like to invite in. We're going. I. Uh, going. Uh, Intelligent. Uh, I 
like to presentation instead. Uh, first language here. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, easily. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Robin for or from from my brother in law. So but but you, Natasha Intan and Niagara, I I know knowing more about Mr. Robin. So uh by asking several questions about how he practices his higher mind yes speak uh, practice higher mind yeah about how you practice your higher mind mm. Um, I'll answer it generally. And maybe if 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 it's you just mentioned, you know, self-awareness is knowing when you're, which is not easy. And you know, just being aware that you're being negative is always easy, but if, but if we can, you know, proactive, we can usually, the gain some awareness from that. Okay. Thank um, you. Yeah, okay. just, just as one, he, um, in my discussion, I was talking about devotion and prayer. Mm -hmm. I think that's, I think that's kind of critical. Um, if obviously, obviously, if you're not a believer, this there are some alteration about what is right and what is good um it, sh it constantly shifts your mind towards that thing doesn't it people yeah how to educate people you know sometimes we we easily utter this kind of statement uh to people who are actually Mental illness. Actually, they are in the, at the, not in a good state, not having a very good mental at that time. So people mm. tend to say this thing, this kind of statement. Come on, it's, it's only in your mind. Easily say this kind of statement, especially at this uh, critical time, goals, and sometimes they cannot control what is in their mind. And how can we educate people right. not to easily utter this kind of statement? Come on, it's only in your mind. That is not okay. So mm -hmm. do you have any tips on that? Well, um, encourage the other the people. Um, I mean, they, they, if they can't imagine how, the, um, or, or, you know, confusing, um, I suppose. 
just um, just trying to access their their higher state of mind and and think critically about how they talk to people and and views and how they're meaningful. It's not easy, um, mm -hmm. I guess, but that's everyone's life journey isn't it that that's, mm -hmm. that's kind of the, cha the challenge of our lives controlling ourselves and um trying to make our character something good if it's possible yeah okay so Natasha in Thailand Niagara um yes any question you would like okay yeah. Natasha um uh, we know that sometimes it's hard for us to control our mind, right? And I was wondering, um, do you have any tool to control our mind? Because sometimes when bad things happen, we just um, losing ourselves. We, we can't control ourselves, we can't control our mind. So do you have any tips how to control our minds? Especially when bad things happen. Thank you. this question Definitely. question of Natasha. okay mr robin do you have your answer for that not really no i'm just thinking about it mm. okay probably you are still you are all of you the three of you in Daniagara and Natasha. i think you are younger than us right you are much younger than us so let me ask, what kind of bad happen in your life? Is it, is it uh, about relationship? Like about breakout thing really happened uh, in your life? I think we are, we are, and it's that of you now. So nowadays, it's, you uh, so mostly um, the problem can be the friendship also like like nowadays um not mm. uh, closing it's it, it can be very painful and sometimes mm. when that kind of situation happens when that kind of happened and I just find it hard for me friends oh. Your mind. So when you Which lose you, okay, you lose your balance, you you feel I think lonely. I need tips. Right, Natasha. Is that what you mean? You feel very lonely, and you don't feel like doing anything. You're very lethargic. You just don't want to do anything. You just want to. You just want to isolate yourself. Is that what you would like to picture out? You just want to isolate yourself. Is that what you would like to picture out, Natasha? I think we lost you. <laughs> Hello? I think yeah, I think Niagara has, has the has a secret in her presentation. It's about first, I think finding something new, something interesting. I think that is the baby step that we should do here when we're about to remind i think we need to take baby steps just trying to be aware of what uh, our mother thinks that can be enjoyable in our life instead of focusing too much on how to control the mind because I think it's very normal for us to feel not okay, yeah? To feel...
just enjoy the process. All the process of finding your side. Just thought of something when when you say. Uh... book about pregnancy I think it was and one of the um, most impressive things that, that I read was um, that women who read about pregnancy and about birth and you know everything to do with the whole process um, they statistically have much easier births and not just easier, but they feel much better about them as well. So it seems like if you can grasp knowledge and understanding and uh, an awareness of what's going to happen in your future to a degree, you're planning for it. You're pl planning for... contingency choose when you get there it seems like just just doing that gives you a, a, a mental a, a, a advantage thing and you want to figure Figure out how, how you're going to approach some assignment or whatever uh, preferences and what's easiest. Easiest potential with this. Or what? and what might not happen as well. And having options available rather than, you know, you, you, you come up to the decision without you and you're left with only one answer and that's your, your brain answer I guess so conclusively you're like say, let let it be is that what you mean just when you're having when you're encountering problem just uh, well, yeah, just let it be is that what you mean uh, more more like you know prepare for what for prepare. what could happen so you know you're ready um, not only does it delay to a degree um, the options or at least it's harder to access it you know what option mental you know peace and uh, clarity yeah but how if we are so anxious, uh, we cannot even th That's think of what to do. And they, they cannot even control their mind. They cannot prepare anything. It's just they'll lose oh. their minds. What? Maybe they should have prepared a little bit, a little bit in <laughs> advance. Well, maybe, maybe there's two ways. Maybe your preparation is the thing that you can do before. before then there's also something that you can do after mm -hmm. um maybe maybe you call that the the reaction so how you react to something um because it happens so fast and it it just overwhelms you but some things we we, we can actually 
you know, stand back a sec, think, how should I react to this? Because think about how we're going to react to our reaction. So we, we, we've done something that we're not very about, not very proud of, and then we want to make a reaction to that and then maybe want to set things and thinking carefully about how okay thank you uh, uh thank you but how to control our mind? That's the question. Natasha. Okay. Okay. I think first. Uh, all speakers, please get ready to answer all the questions from our viewers. The few our show from our YouTube channel, Divine Opus. And I have received their question here. So get ready, be prepared, be prepared to answer the questions. Okay, this is the question for Intan, our speaker. She asked, what should I, about the simple power about the simple power. I think you mentioned about the simple power. What should I prioritize in life? I think you understand her question. Mention about simple power, like what should I? Yeah. Um, that's good questions, by the way. And uh, okay, how how can how can uh for the how can describe how can you and me are prioritize in your life? Well, when you when you learn how to prioritize your life, you can focus with you can focus with intent intention on what matters and accomplish is accomplish your most important goals that your values and determ and determination the action is a process it's a, it's a process i mean it's a process of connecting the 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 dots your life it's me focus for with with uh, important goals i think what important your goals can help thank, thank you in thank you i, I think I Thinking, I for oh, Mr. Robin. Uh, Mr. Robin, there's a question from one of our viewers. Think, uh, what, I think what, she what is answer? surrounded by toxic people because she asked no. the question, what are the tips for people who always think negative, who always think negative? Uh, the problem is, I think I, I, I'm quite confused about how to frame her question, but it's just, I think this person is surrounded by negative people. So how to handle this kind of situation? So, so Robin, could you well, please answer this question? I think toxic I can, people. Yeah. But, but um, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> there's some people that you can't escape right? Maybe it's family members. Maybe it's friends who are just too tightly knit to our own lives that, that we can't really escape them. Mm -hmm. um, 
but we can always deal with ourselves. And it sounds like a, sounds like a, possibly that it's a, it's a matter of habit. So, you know, how to break bad habits, right? How, how to break mm-hmm. bad habits of thinking. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's, it's not, not particularly easy, but people say the best way to, to break a habit is to replace a habit. So um, perhaps it's, it's worth trying to, you know, set a, a goal for every day that however many times a day you, you're going to um, find a quiet space or a moment and try to think the opposite of what you're usually thinking. So something positive, maybe something um of gratitude something that you can say thank you for and if you can think of maybe three things a day it might be it might be a good start and uh, building habits like that uh, usually you know removes all the space and time and room for other habits bad habits can die okay start forming habits okay i hope that be okay Okay, Robin, I mean, if, if you are surrounded, doesn't it? But um, uh, I mean, Some people you know uh, and there's animals. So good get ourselves on track and maybe we can be a good influence to them once once we're in a good place. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Okay, uh, we proceed to the next question. I think this is for, for how to handle stress because all the... Okay, ma'am, can you please... Re- how to handle stress? How to handle stress? Stress because of many problems that we face, especially when we feel very lonely. Uh, when, so basically, when we feel lonely, uh, um, to help, I uh, mentioned before, I discussed before that. That uh, we, because you know, uh, I believe that one day I, I will uh, find someone eventually. I will meet someone new to solve my problems that can help me whenever things get tough. And you know, uh, sometimes it's okay to feel um, that stress, to feel stressed, to feel uh, overwhelmed by all. the problems that is happening. So just uh, like by the process, we will be be okay. We have to keep in mind that having this uh, and someday you will be just fine, you will feel Okay, again, so I think it will. You know, that's yeah. For the answers. Okay, the next question, this is intended to Niagara. I think, I think she's very interested in your presentation. So, so he asks the question, states, that's me, that's me. Focusing on herself. 
like it becomes a bad habit. It's me. So I think it's me. So control uh, 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 the other uh, we, we cannot him some things uh, maybe we just some good how to feel lonely what should the child no. do i think no. you have this experience no. yeah when a when a, i think the child comes from home broken family, broken home family, and when the child feels the child do. Uh, I hope you're okay with this question. If you're not ready to answer the question, it's okay. Um, uh, I just try for this question. Um, oh my God. Um, it's okay. Take your time. If you're not ready to answer this question, it's okay. I just, just I, my bad life, but for but for for that, I just grateful. I just thank God. Uh. You, you. Sorry, I will. I will. I will. I cannot control. Um, my mom like this. You know, have sisters. You have brother, and you have, and you have mom. My mom's really hard. My whole life until he that's not make it I said is uh, the answer I from really in that I hope uh Grateful. Another question for you, Intan. Self. It's I think it's about forgiveness. How to forgive ourselves? Um, how to forgive ourselves? How to forgive? Myself as well. Um, I want to get um, uh, 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 maybe it's mistakes it, it's, it's on hold and the, the last point quite the negative it's a simple The food thing you have to do first. I have view. I think this a how to accept our weak kind of weaknesses. 
So how to accept the weakness in life? I think this is a question in our... It's a good question. Um, I guess it depends on, you know, how we have... these weaknesses if we haven't, you know, tried to no one's perfect and everyone has to, you know, deal with their weaknesses at some point. and I can deal with them um, properly uh, to be practical is is probably the best thing with with weak weaknesses so that they... This is the end of our Q&A session here to our... Now we are reaching the end of our show. I would like to invite each speaker to give closing statement to all the viewers out there, to all the viewers. Okay, let's start from Mr. Robin. Could you cover us of this program? Um, wisdom with it. Um, in the context of it's the challenge of everyone's life to, um, to think critically and expand. you know heading for the highest possible good and it's the thing that you know but we Uh, our higher mind to think critically, to think with empathy and love towards others rather than problems, you're going to be uh, solving problems. Problems. It's. It, I mean, yeah. If uh, I guess I can't really close it better than that. <laughs> Thank you. That's a very beautiful closing statement, Natasha. Could you leave oh, your yeah. closing statement? Uh, I. I would like to remind. Um, sometimes we feel for you. Just don't let that feeling climb. You have uh, find someone to talk to and know that everything will be just fine. He provide your closing. statement um, to all the I, uh, I just want to tell you about in this world you're not only you're not many people care about your life 
many, many people, God's friend or your boyfriend, many care about you. The life, God is always healthy. Just, just full statement. Okay, at last, Niagara, could you please? Thank you. Give us your closing statement. Well, never give up. Even in the middle, you can what and do what you love to do. And enjoy of problem. Enjoy your precious life. Thank you. Thank you. As to our viewers, and let's start the day focus in our life so that we can make the higher thinking happens so so thank you so much for accepting our invitation to be us and for you i think it's still around four Or five, eight, but because of the From Mr. Or can he to us? I you you. to launch our third episode on March 1st, 2021. So please watch the third episode. We are going to provide intriguing topics like before. It's still about advocating men about mental wellness. I hope you enjoy. Hi to all to all Bobby. speakers please stay because we're going to take a picture Okay let's say thank you to Mr. Robin to Indonesia Mm. Uh, okay. I mean, uh, um, the pandemic in your place. How's everything there? Is COVID nineteen still around? 